Hi everyone, it's Bridget. Um, I just wanted to come on and do a really quick video. I received my bow dye in the mail today from Diamond Dyes and I was so excited that I was playing with it tonight and these things are awesome. I am. I had to come on and do a little video. I do not design for them. I am just doing this because I was so excited about this dye and these are what they look like and they're just awesome. I decided to use felt and make some felt dies um, and these are just they're just awesome I want to show you how to put them together I mean when you cut them they cut out three different sizes like this and all you have to do is and I'm sure you guys have already seen a tutorial on how to put these dies together they're super easy and I'm sure somebody from Diamond Dies already has done a tutorial on how to put the dies together but I just wanted to show you how I embellished them so there it's super simple one two three it goes together and you, of course you have the three different sizes so then I wanted to do something in the middle of the of the of the bows and aren't these so super cute I don't know if you guys can see them that far away but look this is like my Halloween one and here's a pink one pink and cream it's like a shabby so I just wanted to show you what I did this one I just put a little flat back pearl in the middle so um, I'll get the little what I did was is I took their other dies they have the um, the tiny dies let's see where they are they don't have names on these. I'm not sure. You can go over to the Diamond Dyes website. Um, I think they're the mini must-haves is what they call them. And um, they're these little teeny teeny ones. I just love these. They're so cute. And I think these bow dyes are going to be one of my very favorite because the, the flower one used to be like my really favorite one out of Diamond Dyes. But I think these are going to be like my favorite. Plus these little these little dies. So what I did was I just cut out some of these little um, the little, little mini must-haves I believe that's what they're called and all I do is I stuck this flower in the middle and I took a a butterfly, the tiniest butterfly they have and I just stick it on the wings or on the bow like that and then for the middle um, I was using this string it's the string um, um, flower and I put that in the middle that's what I did on this one but I want a contrasting color to the pink. So I'm going to look for something. See, that's just too overbearing, I think. It actually looks kind of cute. I might use that one. Um, I was looking for a tinier one. I know I had tiny, tiny ones. I thought I had to make some more. Um, and then I have my enamel dots that me and Sandy had done last weekend, which is what I used on this. I used an enamel dot that I had made on this one so that worked out really good but I don't know if I have cream colored ones I know I have pink tiny ones in here I could use pink on pink but I think I like this white one on here so then I just glue it on there oh that looks super cute I love it love it and then look at super easy isn't that so cute so and then I have the big ones um, that I did and I haven't really decided what I want to put in the centers of these so I'm not sure if I'm just gonna put a flat back pearl in the center um, or if I'm going to put a flower. You can just stick a flat back pearl there. And that would look cute too. Maybe the wrong color, but 
and then a bigger butterfly um, you could get a bigger butterfly and put it on here like that or you could put the butterfly right in the middle I don't know I'm just playing but I just wanted to come on and share these dies with you they're just really awesome um, I can't wait to start playing with them with paper but I, I punched out a whole bunch like I put an enamel dot in the middle of this one so but I really like these these are cute so anyway so that's all I have and um, thanks for watching